All right, Shalom. Want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakodash. I like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching His word of sincerity and truth. All right, um, back at you again to do another lesson. As always, you know our hopes and pray, my hopes and prayers to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai that the elect will be edified by his lessons. All right, and um, with that being said, he that got ears to hear. Let him hear. All right. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to just go, go right into it. And I'm going to get the first scripture, which is Ephesians 4. Okay. Um, time and time we do these videos, you know, to remind brothers, you know, even ourselves. You know, we do these videos not for just uh, you brothers out there and a few women that listen. But we do these videos to check ourself, you know, to check ourself. Because the, the word of the Lord, is, is a, the scriptures say, it's like a two-edged sword. Matter of fact, I'm going to get that. Let me get that. You know, this word, it, it cuts it cuts you and it cuts us. If we're going off, it's going to cut us, man. All right, this is Hebrews chapter 4. And, um, and uh, uh, is it 10 and 4? Hold on. Okay, 10 and 12. Uh, 4 and 12, excuse me, Hebrews 4 and 12. It says, For the word of the Most High is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even the dividing asunder of the soul and spirit and the, and the joints of the marrow and is a discerner of the, of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. All right? But the major, you know, the main point in this verse is all I want to get where it says, and sharper than any two-edged sword. So the, the Lord all right, Paul, he spoke here in Hebrews how the Bible is like a two-edged sword. He didn't say it was just a sword. He said a two-edged sword, meaning it, it, it could cut you and it could cut me, you know. This, this, this truth is, is, is powerful, and I'm reading it. It says the word of the Most High is quick and powerful, man, and sharper than any two-edged sword and piercing even the dividing asunder of the soul and spirit. So the Lord's word gets into your soul and your spirit. You know, this is why people want to, want to, uh, you know, they act out. This is why demons act out. When the word of the Lord is out, we out in the highways and byways. You know, we're doing our epistles and shows. Demons, they get affected by the word. The word is Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai. All right. <clears throat> it says, and the joints of the marrow and a discerner of the thoughts. Why in the joints and the marrow? Because it makes you move, man. It gets into your, you know, your, your gristle. All right. It says your bone gristles, man, make you move. It says, and a discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. So it's going to make you think immediately, man. That's how powerful the most high is, man. You know, and this is a perverse spirit. It is sickening, man. You know, this world got to go, man. I'm sorry. No, I'm not sorry. So like you for even saying that I was sorry. I'm not sorry. May the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, destroy Babylon the Great. You know, Salak Rayim upon the wicked, man. All right. So back to the scripture, it says, and a discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart, meaning it gets your blood going, man. It gets your blood vessels to pump blood to your heart to make you move. It speeds your heart up, your heart up. You know, once you found out uh, you hear the true gospel of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, you know, from which you, what you was taught from the world, you know, you get excited. You know, you're either going to get mad. Or you're going to be glad, man. All right. The scriptures say, he that heareth the most high, heareth us. He that is in trouble, come rest with us. All right. So now let me get uh, Ephesians. And I'm going to try to make this quick and to the point. I'm going to drag it out this time. Um, this is Ephesians chapter 4. And uh, I'm going to start here at uh, 22. All right. Now this is very important. This is milk. All right, this is scriptures that we learn when we first come in, but the foundation is is important. Sometimes when you have a um, a building structure, you know, and you know that building structure been been uh you know been 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 been, been uh you know standing for a while, you know sometimes you might need to have to go and fix some of the foundation, you know. No, nah, I'm good, bro. You know what I'm saying? And you might you might have to um go and fix that foundation. You might have to patch up certain areas to keep it strong. So that's how it is in this truth. Alright? That's how it is in this truth. 
All right. You got to examine yourself, which I'm going to get that too. So it says Ephesians chapter 4 and 22. It says that ye put off the concern that ye put off concerning the former conversations of excuse me that ye put off concern in the former former conversation the old man which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust all right so bear with me i just want to look up something real quick i was reading and had something else on my mind um now right because the word conversation here all right <clears throat> it means manner of life conduct behavior deportment conversation because someone may think that you know when it says conversation you would think that it's like you know when you're talking to another person you know where you're having a conversation it's not it doesn't mean that it's talking to how you manage yourself all right how you manage yourself how you conduct yourself how do you carry yourself all right you got women that carry themselves like whores all right you got men that carry themselves like homosexuals you see you see you know uh let me get back to it it says that ye put off concern in the former conversation all right the former way of how you conduct yourself and when you was conducting yourself the way you was learned in this world it wasn't you know right in the eyes of yahweh bashim i was shy all right because in order to uh be in this truth you got to put off the old man and if you don't put that old man off, you never, you was never in the truth, man. You was never in the truth. All right. Just because you can memorize scriptures and quote scriptures. If you don't put off the old man and, and, and never dwell with that spirit anymore. You were never in the truth, man. You know, I was just talking with one of the brothers, you know, about the hot topic of the week. And we was just, you know, going back and forth, speaking of things of. How you have to put off the old man, you know, it's one thing that, you know, you know, you was wicked, you know, the Lord scriptures say the Lord winketh at your ignorance. Right. And then when you come into the truth, you put those old things away. This is why you have time. You have a grace period of repentance, man. All right. Give you time to work on them demons. Well, work on your prayers with the Lord to get rid of those demons up off of you, man. You know, so. Once you were able to get those demons off you, you were able to cross the line, you were able to say, well, I'm in the truth. You know, uh, what's that? Matthew's the seventh chapter. He talks about how uh, you have to get the moat out of your eye and then you're able to get the moat, the beam out of thy brother's eye, man. This is very, very important, man. You know, and this is what us here at Great Millstone, you know, we speak about from time to time. All right. Dealing with these different other camps. Because, you know, you can clearly see they wear their heart on their, on their shoulder. You know, they, they wear their old man on their shoulder while they're in garment and speaking, speaking the words of the Lord. You know, when you want to call yourself being a rapper, you still got dreads, you know. Man, you got a guy, well, I don't know if he, you know, I don't know the situation. But this man was out, I'm going to say last month, a few weeks ago, teaching the truth. You know, and this man got caught selling drugs, man. All right. Anyway, <clears throat> anyway, man, um, th this is this because this this has to be addressed, you know, and, um, you know, may the Lord, you know, continue to to, uh, you know, uh, have this charge of angels around the whole for elect, you know. So it says that ye put off concerning the former conversation of former conversation, the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust. All right. So you have deceitful lusts, man. OK. Verse 23, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind. So you have to be renewed, man. You have to be refreshed. All right. I want to, let me see if that goes to Kainos. Let's see some. Just want to look it up real quick. Renewed. Where is that? Right. Bear with me. Let me see something. Uh, Okay, it's not. Neo. On a neo. On a neo. To renew in the mind. Just, it means what it says. Reform. Renew. Right, it means what it says, man. Straight up. Straight. So it says, and it says, and to be renewed in the spirit of your mind. So you have to be renewed, man. All right. In the spirit of your mind, your conscience, man, you know, 
you don't just you know uh carry on the ways that you were in the world and then think and then say that you in the truth well you could have that delusion but the most high is going to say i never knew you matter of fact yahweh shai is going to say i never knew you all right ye worker of iniquity all right it says and that ye put on the new man what is the new man all right, the new, the new you and Yahweh Shai. Worshiping and serving and rehearsing the righteous acts of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. You know, being a brother, not a nigga. All right. Being a sister, not a not a whore. All right. It says, and that ye put off the new man, which after the most high have created in righteousness and in true holiness. So you're supposed to become holiness, man. It says, verse 25, wherefore putting away lying, speak every man truth in his, uh, with his neighbor, for we are members one of another. All right. So, you know, this is important. You know, you have to put off the old man. All right. You have to put away the lying. You have to put away the wickedness, the nick, the niggerish attitude. You know, you're supposed to be a brother, man. You got to search these scriptures, man. You know, that's why it's important that you have, uh, you, you, well, it's, that's, this is why it's very important that you get in order, you know, you get in order, man. All right. So let me get the next scripture and I'm going to wrap this thing up. This is, uh, second Corinthians 13, second Corinthians chapter 13 and five. It says, examine thyself, examine yourself, whether ye be in the faith. So you got to examine yourself, man. You shouldn't, it shouldn't take you four years to start examining yourself. You're supposed to have been examining yourself from day one before you even cross the line, man. All right. It says, examine yourself whether ye be in the faith. Prove your own self. How do you prove your own self? Because you're fighting against Satan, man. It's a, it's a uh, spiritual war going on. All right. That's Ephesians 6. You're fighting against the principalities, man. All right. The rulers of darkness of this world You're fighting against your own self When you look in the mirror You say well damn Did I give in? Or did, or did I just rehearse the righteous acts? Did I fight? You know Did I sacrifice? The water Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai You know It says examine yourself Whether ye be in the faith Prove your own selves Know ye not your own selves How that Yahweh Shai Mashiach is in you Except you be reprobates. And that's what a lot of these guys really are reprobates, man. You know, they think they're void of judgment because they think they're in the truth. But instead, <laughs> you're not in the truth, man. And the Lord, Yahweh Shai, is going to say, I never knew you, man. All right. It says, but trust that ye know, excuse me, but trust that ye shall know that we are not reprobates. Meaning us, thus of the whole four elect, those that strive in, in righteousness, man. All right. That's really repentant, man. Put away the old man. Not that same God they was in the world, man. You know? They, right now, we're in a time of mercy. Okay? And the Lord, every day, the Lord is it's a, it's a, it's an inch closing. You know, he's closing inch by inch the doors of mercy, the doors of repentance, man. You know? And a lot of you guys ain't got enough time to repent, man. You know? A lot of you guys uh, that, uh, you know... Just, you know, amongst amongst calling yourself an Israelite, you know, you're walking in wickedness. You, you still ha carry that old man. You got guys smoking weed. You got guys selling drugs. You got guys being homosexuals. This shit is crazy. But it's all the works of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. The wicked is going to get judged, man. All right. And the righteous is going to see salvation. So, you know, with that, I want to give all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Bahashim Rakakwadash. I like to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom.